what's going on guys tech crack here and welcome back to another video on the channel so it's almost the end of 2020 and it's been a really grumpy one this will probably be my last video for the year and please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you like the video so in this video i'm gonna be giving you guys some ways to fix geforce now errors including app crashes and startup problems as well so stay tuned and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe okay guys so the first thing you do want to do is you don't want to check if your your windows the version of windows you are running on your pc is up to date okay this can really cause a lot of problems in opening the geforce app so you want to make sure it's up to date so to do this you're going to head over to your set your start menu you're going to right click on your start menu and then right click on your settings and then head over to update and security you want to check for updates all right to make sure your pc is up to date so i updated this a while ago so I don't think I have any updates. So let's see. All right, so my Windows version or my Windows is up to date. As you can see here, last checked 128 AM. So it's up to date. And then I shouldn't have any problem opening the GeForce app. So if you try the first step and you're still facing problems opening the GeForce Now software, then you'd, you'd want to um, go ahead and check out the second step as well. So the second way to um, fix this error will be to uninstall your current version of the NVIDIA GeForce Now. Now, this, 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 this will help solve a faulty installation. So let's say if you had a problem installing or there was a faulty installation or some of the files were deleted while you were installing, the GeForce Now software, this should help fix that. So the first thing you wanna do is to uninstall the GeForce Now app. So to do this, you're gonna head over to your uh, tax bar and then hit on the search button. So click on the search button and then type control panel. So there are other easy ways to get there, but for this video, I'm gonna be typing. So you get into your control panel, and then you head over to programs and then uninstall a program so you click on that and then you would have to find your nvidia app right here so look for the nvidia software it should be somewhere here yes so you find it right here and then you um right click on it and then left click on it and then click on uninstall or change so this is going to un uninstall the software from your pc for good it's going to uninstall anything that came with it so that you'll be able to um start a fresh install so i'm not gonna uninstall because my geforce now is running perfectly fine so i'm gonna hit cancel and then go back so after you're done in uninstalling you're gonna head over to um, geforce now's page and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. So, so NVIDIA GeForce Now. I wanna head over to their official site to download the software again. So it's gonna open up for you. Yes. And then you'd wanna head over to download. Then probably Windows. So if you're on Mac OS, you go to Mac OS. If you're on Chromebook, you go to Chromebook. If you're on Safari, you go to Safari. If you're on Android, you go to Android. So we are working on Windows right now. So I'm gonna hit on the Windows um, download button and then download a fresh new um, software. So after that, you just follow the normal procedure in on installing it and it should run fine. Now for the third step, we would be um, updating our graphics card. So um, if your, your graphics card is outdated, it can also cause a problem in um, opening GeForce Now. 
as you know uh, geforce now runs on servers and it's very it counts very much on your version of windows and also counts very much if your graphics card is up to date to be able to run it so you're gonna head over to um gonna right click on your start menu and then you wanna head over to um device manager and then once there um all right so once there you're gonna head over to your display adapter click down and then head over to um your 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 graphics card whatever it is you're gonna right click on that go and left click on that sorry and then click on update driver so when this pops up you search automatically for updated driver software and it should run for a while and it should give you a feedback whether your graphics card is updated it's up to date or you actually need to update it so it's gonna run for a while and then later on it's gonna give you a response so you should wait around for that as you can see i i had to update my drivers so it's gonna update and then later on you'd be able to enter the geforce now app if also this doesn't work for you then you head over and try out the next step now the next step is to check nvidia geforce now's requirements okay so you don't want to see if your pc is in range with the requirements of the software now normally it should be in line like it should be it should be okay to run nvidia geforce now but to be on the safer side you'd want to check the requirements to see if you are on the right side if you you can run geforce now on your pc so to do this you're gonna head over to their website which i'm gonna leave in the uh, leave a link of it in the description down below so you're gonna um, head over to the official website and then um you'd wanna scroll down and go to um system requirements all right so system requirements and it should give you a detailed information on what you need to run nvidia's geforce now software so it's gonna give you a list so if you're on mac os um the internet requirements to me doesn't really matter because i i play i still play on nvidia's um, i still play games on geforce now at um, a lower um, internet requirements and i still get pretty good frames and if you want to know um how to um, get a better network connection or how to get better fps in geforce now i'm gonna leave a link right about now in the top right corner of this video so you can follow that link and then watch that video as well so for mac os um imac 20 that's late 2009 and newer so as i said this is a 2009 device this is a 2009 computer imac computer and then you can still run geforce now on that late version of imac so just like i said you shouldn't need any hard or you shouldn't need any expensive machinery to be able to run geforce now but to be on the safer side let's just check the requirements to see that our, our pc supported so for windows you're gonna need a 64-bit version of windows 7 or newer so the um what you should notice that geforce now doesn't support the two bits versions of windows so if you are on the two bits uh, version of window and you can windows and you can upgrade to a 64 bit it will be a better option to upgrade to a 64 bit uh, version because you cannot run geforce now on a 32 bit version of windows so that should be something you should put in mind so if you are running on a 32 bit windows that will be the problem that's why you can't run um, um geforce now on your pc that's why you face errors that's why you face crashes so you should think about upgrading to a better or to upgrading to a 64 bit version now as i said i don't really bother about the internet requirements because there are ways around that 
and then um, PC hardware should be um, a dual core 8 to 6 architecture, uh, 64 CPU with 2.0 gigahertz or faster. So this is a minimal um, um, requirement and most PCs or most um, laptops already have this running for them. Uh, 4 gigabytes of system memory which is actually easier to get nowadays. GPU that GPU that at least supports DirectX 11, so another easy um another um yeah, easy requirements over there, and then um if you're on Nvidia, you should have an Nvidia G4 600 series or newer, which is also an easy requirement right there, and then if you're using a GTX 800 M series, you do have to read this article to get a. Uh, deep understanding on what you are supposed to do or what you're supposed to get to be able to run the software so after reading this it should give you a fair idea of what you need for nvidia geforce now to work or run on your pc so if this doesn't work for you or if still you are facing challenges i'm gonna recommend the last um, step for you so for the last step on how to um, fix um, errors on GeForce Now, I actually put together a compressed folder which contains an executable file that should help you open GeForce Now without any problems. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description to the file and then you'll be able to download and then extract it. So what you're going to do is after you download it, gonna have it on your PC and then you're gonna extract it so I'm gonna click on extract here and then after it's extracted I'm gonna go and copy the contents in the GeForce Now app so you copy it and then you head over to your already installed GeForce Now open file location and then um, paste paste it so you're gonna get this pop-up that says the destination already has a file named GeForce Now blah blah. So you're gonna replace the file because this file is free of any errors. And then after you've replaced the file, you're gonna come back to um, your desktop and then don't open it in the file location. Come back to your desktop and then run this as um, an administrator and you shouldn't get any errors opening the software so as you see it works fine and you shouldn't get any problems after this but if you're still getting challenges if you're still facing problems feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below and i'll be there to answer as soon as i can so this brings us to the end of our video and I really hope this works for you guys. I really hope this helps you fix um, 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 your errors. So have a happy new year. Stay safe. And until the next video, peace out.